gunfire in Kibumba town in the east of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Fighting broke out between M23 rebels and Congolese forces several weeks after the guns fell silent. Both sides accuse each other of provoking the latest clashes. Last week, the M23 rebels began withdrawing from areas they captured ahead of military deployments by the East African Regional Force. We have demonstrated our willingness to respect the ceasefire, but the problem is coming from the side of the DRC government. They are the ones who always violate the ceasefire. The DRC government says it respects the ceasefire but blames Rwanda for escalating the conflict. The main question now is about Rwanda, because you know Rwanda is supporting M23, now it's clear, and they are continuing to do so. We hope that in different process we are, especially the Rwanda processes with the Nairobi processes, we will find a way to solve the issue. The Rwandan government has repeatedly denied backing the M23 rebels. The rebels were supposed to withdraw from all occupied areas by March 30th, but remain in control of several towns. There are procedures for the rebels to withdraw from the areas. We said that it must be orderly and sequenced. We don't want any harm caused to the civilian population. Some security analysts in the DRC are pessimistic about the regional efforts to restore peace. East Africa community. The East African community is a trade bloc with member states that have been hostile to the DRC. When the leaders meet to discuss ways of resolving the security crisis in the East, they do so while Rwanda and Uganda are in attendance. Those countries can sabotage the efforts of restoring peace by informing the rebels of the planned military operations. The M23 says it's fighting to protect the Tutsi community in eastern DRC from attacks by militia groups allied to the Congolese government. The latest fighting in eastern DRC has happened despite a regional ceasefire deal. Troops from Burundi, Kenya, Uganda and South Sudan have been deployed to oversee the withdrawal of the rebels from occupied areas, but their mandate doesn't allow them to fight the rebels, and that has annoyed many Congolese citizens yearning for an end to the conflict.